So what got you into music and into singing? Hmm. So. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay. 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 So, um, I don't know. Since I was like a little girl, I've always been like into the arts. I guess like the first thing that I started doing was dancing when I was like five years old. And then I would like be singing all the time around the house. My sister tells me like these stories, like I would wake her up like singing and stuff, <laughs> whatever. So I was always singing until finally my parents were like, do you want to like take voice lessons? And then when I was eight or nine, nine years old, like fifth grade, I think it was, I started taking voice lessons. So yeah, that's how it all started. Gotcha, gotcha. And then it just like from there, on, yeah, from there, kept on going. yeah. What age did you learn to play the piano? Hmm. So I kind of like started playing the piano by ear. So we have a piano in my house. Um, it was my mom's, and I just like started experimenting with it, listening to music, and I started like to just make my own songs and stuff and yeah but it wasn't like until later i think it was in high school that i started taking um piano lessons okay later in high school yeah okay. now you said you started making your own music and songs mm -hmm. um who did you look up to as an artist when you were growing up that's a tough one um hmm. i've always kind of like listened to everything but i guess when i was like very young I listened a lot to like <laughs> Hilary Duff. Okay. I loved her. And then this artist called Belinda. I don't know if you've, you've heard of her. She's like Mexican. And she was like in all the novelas that we watched when we were younger. So like I loved her music. So that was like my childhood artist that I listened to. But then later, um, I think it was like in uh, maybe like middle school, 7th and 8th grade, I had this friend who listened to a lot of um, <clears throat> 80s rock. So I started listening to a lot of that. And well, I always listened to like mainstream music and what was in the radio and all that. Okay. So, yeah. Now, going off that, do you feel, I guess we'll backtrack a little. How do you feel about mainstream popular music today? Honestly, I'm not really a fan of mainstream <laughs> pop music today. Like, I always listen to mainstream music Again, because it's, like, what's, like, there, you know? Yeah, it's in yeah, the radio. It's always, it's always like, that. playing. So, and I guess, like, it's kind of, like, made for people to, like, get addicted to, to it because they play it so much in the radio. I, like, I end up, like, learning the songs and everything. But there aren't really many songs in mainstream pop today that I would say, like, wow, like, that's really good. Okay. I think there definitely has to be, like, a shame in the pop music that's being like produced today. yeah today definitely okay. because i don't know it's a lot of the same and mm -hmm. like nothing really stands out as like unique yeah. like you know mm -hmm. yeah. now do you think technology played a role in that for instance um everyone has the ability to just look up <laughs> everyone has the ability to just look up every artist that they want and mm -hmm these artists gather these huge fan bases but then never make it to the radio do you feel that the radio is kind of leaning towards one genre and leaving everyone else out mm. <clears throat> hmm. let me think about that i feel that maybe i think that it today it's like kind of easier for like artists to get their music out there and like make it because because we have the internet like it's yeah. so easy everyone can like upload their music online and and just a few like hits on youtube mm -hmm. like you'll be well known it was so maybe yeah because it was like so hard back then to like you needed a record mm -hmm. label to sign you and that was the way mm -hmm. you made it so that was the, the way people listened to you so maybe now that, like, music is, like, so accessible to everyone, maybe that's why it's not... Wait, but your question again was, like, 
if they were like just sticking to one yeah genre? do you think that the radio is sticking to one genre yeah i mean or maybe it, it also like depends on the station because i okay. well i don't listen to a lot of radio here but back in puerto rico we have like the mainstream music sta- uh, station and then we have like rock music like older music then we have like mm-hmm. latino reggaeton station but I guess so, like, yeah. Mm, yeah. They are kind of, like, sticking. Because, also because it's, like, so accessible to people. There's so much music online now. And I feel like it's hard for me to, like, find good music. Okay. Because it's easy to, like, just go to top hits on Spotify. You'll have what's playing on right now. But mm-hmm. I actually, like, want to find, like, good music online. And it's hard. Mm-hmm. Because there's so much music. Like, how do... I don't know. And yeah, it's like all the focus now is just on these like mainstream pop artists that I don't even know like how they made it, but somehow they did. And their music is like... (laughs) (laughs) Now, those those top 40 hits, do those influence the kind of music you want to make? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to move away from that and kind of go on your own? I feel like... I still want to do, I want to do pop music, but definitely with something that makes it unique. I listen to the main, like, to the mainstream music because I, well, I want to know what's, like, what's being a hit right now. And also, like, I just feel like mainstream music has, like, a different structure to it and, like, it's a technique that makes it so, like, popular for for people and, like, likable. So maybe, like, I try to listen to it for, like, what are they, like, writing? Or, like, what music are they using? Or, like, the structure of the song or whatever. So it kind of, like, does influence me in a way. But I definitely want to, like, create something different. Okay. Okay. Um, going off, yeah. you know, topic a little bit, but s- still <laughs> about the music industry. Do you, um, how do you feel about streaming services? Do you feel like they're helping the artists? Like Spotify? The artists? Spotify, yeah. Um, I think they help, they definitely like help unknown artists, okay. like upcoming artists. Right, you're on Spotify, correct? Yeah, okay. yeah. Like, <clears throat> if you have your music there on YouTube, on SoundCloud, mm-hmm. all that, mm-hmm. it's like so easy now. Mm-hmm just to like get people to listen to you it's easy and not easy at the same time because it's there it's just like now you have to which is like a trouble that i'm going through now like how do i like promote it and get it to mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. it's just like it has to go viral so i guess yeah i just need to like find more people to listen okay. to it um but yeah it definitely helps artists i don't know it's it's a tough one because mm-hmm. I like people like Taylor Swift, you know, that she like took her music mm-hmm. off Spotify. I do think like music is an art form and it should be like accessible to everyone, but also like like artists live off that, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But also like artists li- live off of like concerts too, so like why not leave the music there for people to listen to it, you know? Gotcha. Now, do you think streaming services? are going to get bigger or like you said Taylor Swift taking her music off of it other artists will follow suit and you'll see a decline in streaming services I don't think so I think everyone's gonna leave their music on it I don't know why she did that (laughs) (laughs) I don't know I think that regular labels are definitely not gonna exist for long okay Okay. Um, but yeah I think it's going really well with streaming services Mm -hmm. so I'm not, it's not going to be like until they create something else, okay. something different that, okay. that's going to stop. All right. So where do you think the music industry is going to go from here? What What do you, do you see this EDM mm-hmm. style of music currently, this upbeat, everyone wants to dance when they're out and about. Do you think it'll stay like that? Do you think it'll change? Where do you want to see it go? Hmm. I think... Mm. I think it'll continue like that, but it'll it'll evolve. Like okay. I see a lot of new like genres inside electronic music being created now. Like 
for example, electro jazz or like <clears throat> tropical house. People people are like um, bringing other instruments into the electronic music and like some other styles like tropical house, which is a style that I really like right now. That's like it uses Caribbean like tropical mm -hmm. instruments mm -hmm. with the electronic music. So maybe like other instrumentation from different cultures can be like added to that okay. um but yeah i definitely i definitely want to continue to listen to the edm electronic music because i like it i think it's like part of the future <laughs> i guess like the future sounds and I, i'm pretty sure it'll continue but i definitely want it to see want to see it um growing and stuff because mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like <clears throat> I'm just gonna say Justin Bieber is doing a really good job right now. <laughs> like he's he's going somewhere else with pop. Okay. Okay. He's doing something really cool. Now, do you think record labels will ever go out of business and everyone will record independently, or do you think record labels are <laughs> always going to be necessary? I don't I wouldn't say necessary okay. I mean I like I like the whole record label idea but <clears throat> again it's like everyone can have a studio in their house mm -hmm. and make their own music it's so easy yeah. and they have the computer they upload it and that's it that's it yeah it's so easy so it's, it's not really necessary like why do you have to like be paying people right when you can do it all yourself exactly I agree. So those were the those were the questions. Yeah, Thank that you. was easy. Thank you very much. Hey, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun.